Hey, West Coast Johnny, how the heck's everybody doing? Happy New Year and thanks for stopping by. So in the never ending pursuit to be more efficient and organized in my shop, I'm making a really cool like little welding station for my two MIG welders. So let me show you, follow me. So here's the stand that I'm using today. And uh, it was like $79 on Amazon. I used to have my welder up on the top, but it didn't fit very well, even though it was supposed to. And it was, uh, look how wobbly this is, look. And all the nuts and bolts are tight. They won't get any tighter. And see that? Piece of junk, right? Um, plus, I have another MIG welder, so, and I have no stand for it. I didn't want to get another stand like this because uh, they're just pieces of junk. So um, here's what I've got. I found this rolling cart. It's an old rusty rolling cart and it came from either a school or some kind of shop back or like in the uh, late 70s, early 80s. So what we're gonna do here today, I'm gonna sand this thing down, I'm gonna prime it real nice, and then I'm gonna paint this real nice and I'm gonna put some nice liner down here and we're going to be able to put not only this MIG welder in here, probably at the top, but I could put my new one in there. Everything can fit on the bottom. Right now I got everything just thrown on this one little shelf because I'm trying just to keep it all together. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sand this whole cart down with uh, 100 grit. Then we're going to sweep it in real nice and stuff and then we're going to go ahead and hit it with some 220. Clean that real nice, uh, wipe it down with some acetone and then I'm going to go ahead and start prime painting it. Okay, for prime painting, I want to use the Evercoat Featherfill G2. It is a uh, high build primer. And what we want is right here, the feather, the Featherfill G2. That's it.
So I'm using the tape method. The edge of the tape is exactly the measure that we want. So we're just going to use tape. Boy, this is some some tough stuff. Okay, so what I'm using, it's called Super 77. It's made by 3M. This is the best glue you can get. So I'm gonna go ahead, spray both sides, let it get tacky for about 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna stick them together. This has about a four inch wide little spread here but you want to overlap it at least half okay now we're gonna let them kind of get tacky Now, I was gonna put some weights in there, but this bond is extremely tight, so there's no need for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the bottom piece now. Okay, there they are. The rubber mats are in, and the uh, whole thing's been painted. So now, I'm gonna start putting my welding supplies in there and see how it all works out. Okay, well, I wanted to show you how this turned out. It's starting to get kind of dark. I'm putting things away. I got the 140 uh, Weld Pack Lincoln welder fits in here perfect. The little Hynade MIG 140D fits in here. Now, this is 110 and 220. It's amazing. I got my tip cleaner, a bunch of magnets for layouts, my vice grips, all my gloves and arm covers, helmet, some tips, tip cleaner, and extra wire, and... I have like a pick for slag. So all of this, this whole thing costs less to build, including paint and the rubber and everything, than this little cart cost. I think I got $79 I bought this for on Amazon. And this I found on Craigslist for 40 bucks and just decided to make it look nice. Now I am gonna probably clean the wheels up real nice and spray them with some fluid film, which is like a lanolin. Okay, well, thanks everybody for watching. Subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll talk to everybody soon.